I'm now going to perform for you the world's laziest cutting a person in half trick. To do this, I'm going to use a piece of paper to represent my person. Uh, if you do this trick, you are welcome to draw or print an actual person onto the piece of paper. Depends what you're into. However, I'm just going to do it with a blank piece. What you need to do before you cut your person slash piece of paper in half is stick the two ends together. But instead of putting them together to make a normal loop, I want you to subtly turn one of the ends over and then stick them together. Now, uh, you go about cutting them in half the normal way. Make a snip right in the center and then cut all the way along the middle. And like every other object you cut in half, you should expect to end up with two separate pieces of your original starting person. Except in this case, you've cut it in half and you've still only got one piece. And that is the world's laziest cutting a person in half trick. Now this trick uses something called the Mobius loop and uh, to show you how that works I'm going to do the same trick again but with a piece of paper that's green on one side and blue on the other. So when you stick the two ends together, if you had put them together to form a normal boring loop, as you can see it's all green on the outside and blue on the inside. When you turn it over though, you end up sticking the blue from one side onto the green from the other and the green from one onto the blue of the other. And so if you actually trace this all the way around, the green side joins straight onto the blue side, that joins back onto the green side, that joins back onto the blue side, it's actually a shape with only one side. And in fact, a lot of people realize the Mobius loop only has one side. But what makes this trick particularly interesting is it's only got one edge. If you try and run your finger all the way around one edge, you'll find yourself on the other side of the same side. There's one edge is what I'm trying to say. And so when you cut it right down the middle, that one edge effectively uncoils to form the entire new loop. And you can have endless fun doing tricks with the Mobius loop. Just to make it a bit more exciting though, I'm going to try the same trick with a longer piece of paper and this time I'm going to do three twists. So you start with a boring loop, you do one, there's our Mobius loop, two, three. Now this is exactly the same trick as before, you still start with an entire loop, but this time when you cut it in half, as you expect or as you know you should get, but it's still unexpected, you'll end up with just one loop once you're finished cutting this in half. The reason this counts as a whole separate magic trick, oops, there we go, is not only do you get one loop when you're finished, but somehow, magically, you end up with a knot tied in your loop. You've gone from a loop of paper with no knots, and by cutting it, somehow, you get a knot. And that, I'm going to leave for you to work out. For more about the maths and science behind this and other magic tricks, as well as PDFs and video resources for teachers, please visit illusioneering.org.